there, everyone. I'm JJ Ramberg, and welcome to Your Business, the show dedicated to giving you tips and advice to help your business grow. Many East Coast small businesses are still reeling from devastating effects of Superstorm Sandy and its economic aftermath. The storm, which was followed up by a powerful nor'easter, caused billions in damages to homes and devastated many New Jersey and New York commercial districts. Thousands of small businesses are now trying to rebuild. Insurance won't cover a lot of that damage, and so owners are desperately seeking financing to restore their companies. The federal government and the Small Business Administration are reaching out to small business owners in need. If you've had damage, we can help with recovery loans. And even if you haven't had physical damage, but you've lost cash flow because the area has been shut down, we have an economic injury loan for you. So if you go to SBA.gov, we have a Sandy page, and that will help lead you through all of the recovery steps. We have a customer service number, and I want to just make sure people know they can call our call center at 1-800-659-2955. 1-800-659-2955. And we can walk you step by step through the applications. Gerald McSwiggin is the senior manager of disaster assistance for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, whose local branches are helping community businesses in this effort. And Robert Walsh is the commissioner of New York City's Department of Small Business Services. Great to see you both in a very trying time for so many people. Robert, we were just talking. You you took a tour of Red Hook recently, an area here in New York City that was devastated. Yeah, devastated. And, you know, the sad thing is Red Hook has come such a long way. Uh, Many entrepreneurs have set up shop there. I visited a wine, a winery, a wonderful man who makes key lime pies, a, a glass cutter, carpenters, designers, just completely wiped out. Uh, 300 jobs at Fairway, a uh, big supermarket there, wiped out. And uh, many of them are fighting back and you know, looking to get back on, on their feet. Okay, so I want to take this uh, talk into two parts. The first one is what can you do if you were, you were hit by disaster? The other one is what can you do to prepare for this? You know, a lot of our viewers aren't in this area. So, Gerald, talk to me um, very quickly. If you are a small business owner that was affected by this, where can you go? Yeah, thanks, JJ. Well, the, the first thing that I would say is to call our help desk. BCLC through the U.S. Chamber of Commerce has set up a national disaster help desk for business for small businesses to call if they don't know where to turn. And that number is 1-888-MY-BIZ-HELP, which is 888-692-4943. So we're asking small businesses to call our help desk. We'll, we have experienced counselors that are uh, standing by to, to help businesses figure out the the best way to recover. And We're also- uh, Gerald, just a quick question. What, are, what do people need most? Is it money? Is it relocation? Is it help cleaning up? What are people asking for? Capital is a, is a major thing that, that's needed right now for small businesses. Uh, the, the Small Business Administration is giving loans, uh, very low interest re- loans over, over 30 years, and, and that's going to help a lot of small businesses. But another unique thing that local chambers of commerce are doing, uh, for example, the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce has set up a fund for small businesses and individuals can donate to this fund uh, through a 501c3 and and this fund will will give small micro grants to small businesses in the area to, to help them recover so capital is a major thing right I mean, now Robert one of the really petrifying things is okay you go get a loan but you're starting from scratch again in an area that may just be decimated and and so it's it's scary to take that money and figure out how to pay it back. Yeah, it is. What we have done here in New York City is we have set up a zero interest loan for the first six months, 1% after that. We've teamed up with Goldman Sachs and the New York City Economic Development Corporation to get that out. The good news is that many, over a thousand inquiries are ready and dozens of companies are already in the pipeline for those loans. To get that 10, 15, 20, 25 thousand dollars out so people could pay uh, their workers and do the necessary repairs to get up and running. Let me talk about going yeah. forward. So, th- so this happened, it's awful. If you are a small business watching this, what can you do to prepare for a disaster that might hit you, whether the, it is a tornado or an earthquake or another hurricane? Make sure you have the right insurance. Make sure you have, you have flood insurance. Many people don't understand that flood insurance is separate from, from their typical insurance that's run by the federal government. So you know, making sure that you have those things. If, if you have 
have inventory that's going to spoil, make sh making sure you have a, a, a generator in case you lose power, uh, making sure your, your, your uh, employees are prepared, your suppliers are prepared. I could not emphasize enough, and what Gerald also said is insurance. You know, sadly, we run into so many companies that did not have their paperwork in, in, in order and don't have flood insurance, and it, it's, a, it's a long road for them. It's devastating. Yes, it is. All right. Well, thank you both so much for everything you're doing to help rebuild this business. As I know you guys have a, a long road ahead of you guys and a lot of work, um, but keep up the good work. And thank you for taking the time to talk Thanks to us here. Fun. Thanks, JJ. Thank you.